Hey guys, what's up? I'm Sierra and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want to see how I created this everyday fall look, then just keep on watching. So I just did my brows using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Blonde. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the Morphe Eye Primer and put this all over my lids to just create a base for the eyeshadows that I'm going to apply. After I do that, I'm just going to go into the Morphe 35V, which is this palette right here. It's kind of glary. And I'm just going to go into the shade Go Nude with a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to put that in as a transition shade. After I get that shade built up to the way I like it, I'm just going to go into the shade Scandal, which is the shade right here, and I'm just going to put that into the crease to start building up some depth on the eyes. After I use that shade, I'm just going to go in with a more dense and like more precise blending brush. And I'm going to go into the shade Vixen, which is the shade right next to the shade I just used. And it's just a little bit of a deeper brown. And I'm going to focus that directly into the crease. I use Vixen I'm just going to go in with a pointed brush and I'm going to go into the shade in the zone which is just the shade directly under Vixen and I'm just going to dab in that and tap off the excess and then I'm going to put that on the inner corner and the outer corner and we're going to create kind of like a halo eye And I'm just going to use that previous blending brush to blend them all out. And for the look I'm going for, I'm going to try to leave the center of the lid as blank as possible. So that way when we pack on the highlight shade, it's going to really pop. So that okay. And... So now that we have the inner and the outer corner done, I'm going to go into the shade French Kiss, which is just like a champagne gold kind of color. Now I'm just going to pack it right onto the lid where we like it look. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of In The Zone and Addicted together, which is the same darker brown that we used, and then Addicted is just kind of like a deep purple kind of color. And I'm just going to put this right over the inner and the outer corners to just deep them, deepen them up just a little bit more. Now I do want to kind of keep this look a little bit lighter, so I'm not going to make it too dark on the inner and the outer corners, I just want to deep them up just a little bit more to enhance the halo eye. And after we 
do that, that's pretty much the eyes. And I'm going to go into some primer. And the one today I am using is the Maybelline Master Prime. And it is the Blur and Pore Minimizing one. So I'm just going to put that onto my hands and put it around my face. And I'm just going to grab it. Okay, so after I have my primer on, I actually do not use foundation because um, I haven't found one that really works for me. But... Today I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in two different shades to kind of get that full coverage kind of look. And I'm just going to put the shade 5 Ivory under my eyes in, oh, oh gosh, <laughs> under my eyes and everywhere that I would use concealer to just kind of highlight the face. I'll put a little bit on my chin as well down the bridge of my nose and on the center of my forehead and then I'm going to use the shade this is tin light to kind of put on the darker parts of my face and I'm gonna put it kind of where I would contour down each side of my nose and then on my temple area and then after I get all of that on there I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and just kind of blend it all together all of that on I'm just gonna go back in with the shade 5 fair and just go over my under eyes one more time and also any problem areas like acne which I have over there some on my chin and then some on my forehead and then I'm just going to go and blend those out. Okay. So after I have all of my concealer on, which I use as foundation, I'm going to go into the Park Avenue Princess palette by Tarte. And I'm just going to use the shade Halo and ooh, Halo and Enhance, which are the two lighter shades in here. And I'm just gonna set my entire face with that. face is set. I'm going to go back into the eyeshadow palette and do my under eyes. And for this, I'm going to use the shade Vixen. And I'm just going to use like a flat like packer brush, but it's also kind of fluffy to where I can blend it out seamlessly. Alrighty, and so as you can see, it's just a nice wash of color. It's not too much, and it's not not enough, you know. And then I'm going 
to go into my bronzer, which the one I am using today is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, which this is the mini version. But I'm just going to use a fluffy brush for this, which is just kind of like a powder brush, and I'm just going to put that kind of where you would contour. Make my face have more color than it does because once you put on like foundation and concealer and everything, it does kind of like make you look washed out and kind of dead with no dimension to your face. And I'm also going to put it right onto my temples. And kind of blend it into my forehead. All right, and after I do that, I'm just gonna go into the NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. And I'm just gonna put this onto the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm also going to put a slant wash over my nose as well. And I'm just going to kind of make sure it's all blended together so that way it's not super harsh. And after this, I'm just going to set my face. Just like that, and I'm using the Morphe Set Continuous Setting Spray. I'm going to kind of let that dry a little bit. And then I am going to do my lips. And today, I am using the Lip Liner by Huda Beauty. And this is the shade Trendsetter, which is just like a little pencil. And then I'm just going to line around my lips. And then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Times Square. So now that I have my lipstick on, I'm just going to kind of rub them together. And then I'm going to put on some lip gloss. And this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Blushing Margarita. So there's the lips. And... Now I'm going to go in with my highlight, and I'm just going to use a clean, fluffy blending brush for this, honestly. I'm just going to kind of dip into the Armory Z highlight by Anastasia. I'm just going to put it on the high points of my cheeks. And then the center of my nose. And then down the foot. And then I'm going to also put a little bit of that right onto the inner corner of my eye to kind of open them up a little bit. Alrighty, and after that, I'm just going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just put on some mascara. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to set my face one more time. It's starting to flash at me again. And this is the final look.